Hey guys, I am here to review all four of the new colors of the Siesta, it's a, the Siesta Black Edition Cloud. There are four colors in the series. Um, there is Siesta Cloud Berry, Dusk, Moss, and Ocean, which is what I'm wearing right now. So this is what the packaging paper looks like. I always keep them so I know which pair I'm reviewing because sometimes it gets hard to tell them apart. Um, so the Siesta Black, until the Sahara, the Black were my absolute favorites and favorites favorites in terms of coverage and just natural, like the natural look. I mean, they looked natural but artificial at the same time. Like artificial colors with natural coverage. The way that they blend into the eye look so super real. The Cloud series is another series that I quite like. And actually my favorite blue contact lens of all time happens to be Cloud. So when I found out that um, the Siesta came out with Cloud Black Edition, I was super stoked and really, really wanted to try them out. And there weren't any reviews at the time that I, I saw them on and I was like, I want to be one of the first ones to review. So I'm trying to get this out there so that other people can see what these contacts look like. Now I just did the Sahara series and compared to Sahara, most of the other contacts are very understated because the Sahara, the way that they're made, they have got extreme coverage. They've got almost costume quality coverage, but in realistic ish colors. It's really hard to describe them because it's obvious that they're contacts, but they can also look natural at the same time. They've got the best coverage. They just, they look absolutely amazing. I think that they've taken over black as far as my favorite line. Um, and I would love to see more colors from the Sahara series, but the black is still very, very close second to me. Um, these ocean, now these are, they're like fluorescent. When they are out of your eye, I will take one off when I'm done. Um, but they are like the brightest, brightest, brightest green that they are. I go back on my eye. Um, so up close, this is what they look like. You know, the cloud has got like a really interesting design to them. They do resemble kind of clouds the way they, it's cloudy. Like if you picture like a zombie or someone sick or that's developing cataracts and the way that their eye becomes cloudy that's how I see these contacts and I know that sounds like a bad thing but it's really not just because I love the way that the coverage over your color is and the way it blends into the pupil area so this is what they look like up close the design like I said I, I really love the design and far away they look like this so even though they're like fluorescent they're still kind of understated like they're not like in your face whoa because when you take them off look at this I'm gonna wet it real quick so it doesn't fly off my finger but um look at how bright that is that is a fluorescent contact lens look at that Wow <laughs> That is crazy, crazy green. But see, when you put it on, you can tell that it's like, like a green color, but not like that. So that is pretty cool. And ocean, I'm not so sure I'd call it ocean. This reminds me, they've got another contact that's called mint. And these remind me of mint. This is how I picture mint contact to look. So I would personally name these um, Siesta Black Cloud Mint because that's just how it comes across to me, but they're still they're still really pretty. All right, so you know. I had to have green even though it was part of the series I, I would have gotten green anyway this is the siesta um, black edition cloud moss and I think the name for this is quite fitting because it is like a just a dull green mossy color it's it is really understand like this whole series is actually a little disappointing because they're not vibrant but 
on the other hand if you're looking for like a natural way to color your eyes these are like probably some of the most realistic I've ever seen just because of how understated they are um, this is what they look like up close I don't know if you can see the cloud design or not but um, it does have like a really cool cloud design on the actual lens hence the black cloud but these are these are a really pretty color let me put this back up a little bit that did not work there you go so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna compare this one of these with one of the um, emerald from the uh, the Sesa Sahara because the emerald with this was a little bit understated as well so I just kind of want to see what they look like side by side because the Sahara has become my new favorite. And in this case, I actually think that the cloud is better. The color of the Sahara is better, but because it's a lighter contact and it has that enlarging effect to it, um, you can see where my actual eye color ends and there's that overlap. With the lighter colors, that overlap becomes more apparent and therefore very fake. So I don't really like that look. But this, there is no overlap, and so it looks, you know, very, very real. So actually, I actually like this one better. Second to last pair, this is the um, Siesta Black Cloud Dusk, and this is such a cool name. These were, this and the next one were the ones I was the most excited about. Um, these contacts, I mean, I'm going to show them in the case like I do, but out of your eye, these are so striking because they are like blue mixed with like a brown color, and the ones that are mixed like that are always really pretty. Um, I don't know if these or the green are my favorites from this round. Um, haven't gotten a lot of wear out of them yet. I did wear the next pair out today, the ones I haven't shown yet, um, and those are really nice. I let Josh choose them, and that's why I wear them. He, he liked those the best. But up close, uh, this is what these look like. So the the coloring on this, I mean, you can't see the brown really because they're you know they're in my eye and I've got brown eyes, but I I really do think that I like these quite a bit because they're like a violet color, they're like a like a violet blue with brown streaks. So um, so this is what it looks like next to my natural eye. This is what the contact looks like. So you can kind of see. I mean, I'll show it better in a minute, obviously, but. See, it's like blue mixed with brown. It's got like a blue limbal ring on it, which I, I love. They should do more contacts like that. So when you see it like this, you can see the color difference, but it's subtle, but it's there. It's nice. is the last pair I wore these out today so I accidentally threw away the little thing but these are the cloud berry now before I go on I wanted to say I know what the last pair reminds me of um, the these ones that I just tried on if you look at them closely these remind me a lot of the pinky paradise um, Eurasia uh, color CL has their own version of it which I've reviewed before They've got the blue with the brown in the middle. Excuse me. Um, so I really, when I get my webcam and the lights so that I can redo my videos, 
I am going to actually redo and I'm going to do some comparisons and I'm going to compare the color sale version of the Eurasia contact um, I think it's called India with the one that I just tried on I think it's dusk and see because they're very similar in color um, color setup with a blue limbo ring fading into like the brown in the middle and I really want to know what that looks like side by side so I will do some comparisons like that I think I might do a whole video of just comparisons because that's really interesting to me um, so this is Barry this is actually uh, the second one I was the most excited about these are the ones that Josh chose today um, he really liked them I don't know if it's showing up on camera the same but in person Berry is actually the perfect name for these because these look like blueberries. Uh, this is, they just, it looks like you have like a blueberry on your eye. Um, and that is a good thing. Like, I think that is pretty cool. This is what this looks like up close. So, um, this is just a straight, I mean, like, this is almost crayon blue, almost just a straight blue, blue, blue color. Um, again, really subtle, but especially in person, definitely, definitely blue. And it just, it just brings to mind blueberries. Um, that's all I can think about is blueberries. So this is what it looks like off of my eye. So, you know, like I said, the whole series, this is what it looks like in there. The whole series is very subtle, but very pretty. I mean, it does so much for your face just to have color on your eye. I mean, I hate my poo brown eyes, um, and I always look for ways to accentuate or to change. It just feels so much better to have color in your eyes and your hair and makeup or whatever. And um, I just, I don't know, I really, really like the different colors. I'll actually put on one of these dusk next to the blueberry because uh, I think they're pretty much the both same amount of subtleness and just kind of see which one shows up more so I think dusk dusk shows up more blueberry is very blue and dusk is blue as well, but I think that the limbal ring, the blue around it, makes just that bit of difference. Now this one suddenly looks like I don't have a contact on, and this one looks like I do. That's really weird, because a minute ago, obviously, I had no contact on here, and this one looked very obviously like I did have one. So, you know, even though it's subtle, when you compare it like that, it's very, very obvious that they do change your eyes even in a small way so that is that is really interesting but um yeah that's it that's the whole series that is the the four cloud four new cloud colors um i think green the moss is my favorite from the set because that looks the most real and you can see it the most i like contacts where you can see the color change because otherwise you would just get you know clears uh, which i don't need anymore but um yeah, so when I get something new, I will review it again and I will redo all of my Color CL videos and put them together in a much better and more organized way so that if there's anything particular anybody wants to see, you can just go straight to the video and find it um, instead of these rambly things that I do. Um, but until then, I will see you guys next time.